Wet 6, Wisconsin beekeepers are seeing a drastic decline in honey production. But they're optimistic as they head into this summer. News on Victoria Saha joins us live in the studio with a closer look at what's causing the problem. Hi, Victoria. Hey, guys. Now that summer is approaching, the hope for a better honey production seems to be the buzz for local beekeepers. They say the need for honey will never go away. Quite a lot of busy bees. Now that the weather is warming up, these bees are finally able to come out and work hard to make honey. In Wisconsin, uh, last year in particular was uh, a bad year. Kent Pagorish is the president of Wisconsin Honey Producers Association. He says the harsh long winter didn't do any good for his bees. 2018 was my poorest production year in 43 years of keeping bees, but I think it was kind of a poor year across the whole state consistently. In 2017, his bees were able to produce close to 100 pounds of honey. Then in 2018, barely 40 pounds. But he says even though the production is low, the demand for raw honey is still there. So that's really good for the beekeepers. That's where we're picking up our extra income from, is from the higher price of honey when we're selling direct to the consumers. Experts say even though the production of honey is down right now, us at home, we could help these bees out by just simply letting our flowers bloom and let the bees just do their job. Bees thrive when flowers are blooming. They're able to suck out the nectar, which means honey for our kitchen. So wait a little before pulling out your weeds or taking out those dandelions. Kent has 200 beehives. Each of those have 20,000 bees, and he's hoping the upcoming summer will make up for the loss of honey in 2018. In the studio, Victoria Saha, News 9, WAOW. Thanks, Victoria.